Hello everyone and welcome to Gridlock, West Cod's original game show. I'm your host, Peter Falcone, and thank you very much for joining us for this night of fun, trivia, and memory. Before we introduce our two contestants, Calvin will tell us how this will work. Two contestants representing certain clubs on campus will take turns answering questions about a slew of topics. If they get the answers right, they will go up against the grid, which contains certain perks that may help or harm them or their opponents. Contestants will now have 10 seconds to memorize the green, yellow, and red areas of the grid. Red stands for punishment, green are perks, and yellow is neutral. The winner then moves on to our final show against the winner of next week's preliminary. Now, without further ado, let's introduce our contestants. Our first contestant is Connor, representing REC. My name's Connor Meenan, and I'm a sophomore business major. Our second contestant is Liv, representing the swimming and diving team. My name's Liv Sosnowski. I'm part of Westcon's swimming and diving team, and I am excited to be on Gridlock. Every Gridlock contestant receives a beautiful WCSU Gridlock water bottle. Each night's winner will earn the Star Trophy, and our grand victor will win the Wings of Victory. Back to you, Peter. All right, Calvin, thank you very much. It sounds so amazing. Let's get to know our contestants a little bit better. So, Connor, welcome to the show. You are representing the Rec Club. Do you mind telling us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we maintain the gym and we clean the equipment and we just make sure everyone has a safe and enjoyable workout. Very beneficial during these tough times. And is there anything else that you want the audience at home to know about yourself? My favorite hobby is winning. You gotta keep, keep it humble. We'll see if you can fulfill that hobby tonight. Now, let's go over to Liv. Welcome to the show, Liv. You're representing the swimming and diving team. You might tell us a little bit more about that. Hi, so I'm here on behalf of West Con's men's and women's swimming and diving team. We are an NCAA affiliated team that is definitely used to winning, if you ask me. Across the board, I would say I'm a competitive person, whether it be a game show or a race, I want to win. Uh, my team said that I should do this because kind of a big like trivia nerd, if you would say, like super into this kind of stuff. So they're all pretty excited about it. Ooh, that's something, all right. Anything else that you want the audience at home to know about yourself? Yeah, I just wanted to say, Connor, I'm so glad you're experienced wiping down gym equipment, and I hope you can use those skills to wipe off your tears after. So. <laughs> All right, we'll have 20 questions split into five rounds of four questions each. Connor, you're up first with our first question. What interstate highway goes through Danbury? I-84. Interstate 84 is correct, and you will face the grid. 25 options are up. I hope you memorize some of them. Mm. Can I please get uh, number two? Number two, please. <whistles> a peer review. So you'll get another question to answer. So here's your next question. What event sent America into World War II? The bombing of Pearl Harbor. That is correct, and of course it occurred on December 7th, 1941. So another choice for Connor from the grid. One is gone, but still plenty to choose from. What will you pick? I'll choose number nine, please. Number nine, please. Pick your nose, which means that when Liv gets to go on the grid, it's Connor's decision. And speaking of Liv, she's up next with our third question of this first round. What is zero divided by any number that is not zero? Peter, it is still zero. It is, of course, still zero. All right, to the grid Liv goes, but it's Connor in charge. What will Connor pick? Liv, you better hope Connor picks good. Let's see it. Uh, number three, please. And what will Liv face for number three? Oh, a brave part. So Connor gives Liv extra time on her next question. And Connor, last question of this first round. Who wrote the Hunger Games series of books? Suzanne Collins. 
to Zancon is correct and over to the grid for you. Couple of options off, but still plenty to work with. Can I please have number six? Number six, please. Retake. So the next time you get a question wrong, go get a second chance. All right, let's move into round two. Connor up three to 10. Liv is up first with this question. Who supplies the food served in the Midtown Student Center restaurant as well as the West Side Marketplace? That is Sodexo, Peter. So Dexo is correct, and you will get on the grid. What will you pick? Can I please have number 14? We'll give you number 14. What is it? The teacher's pet. 20 extra points for you, which will be huge, as that will give you the lead. All right, Connor, second question. Los Angeles has two NBA teams. What are both of their names? The Los Angeles Lakers and the Los Angeles Clippers. Correct, Amundo. And let's see what the grid has in store for you. What number shall you pick? Can I please have number 20? Number 20. A skip day, which means if you don't like the question I'm giving you, you can always skip and get another one. All right, Liv, this one's for you. Our third question of this round. A year on Earth is 365 and a quarter days long. Due to this, every four years, an extra day is added to February. What is this occurrence called? It is called a leap year. Leap year or leap day, it is correct. And you will have a chance against the grid. What shall you pick? Can I please have number 22? Number 22, please. Financial aid. You get 10 points the next time Connor gets a question wrong. And let's move into our last question of this second round. Connor, what, what were the last two states to join the U.S.? Alaska and Hawaii. Alaska and Hawaii is correct. And now, go to the grid. Couple of options remain, but what shall you pick? I please have number 16. Number 16, please. Registration, which means the next time you get the question right, you'll get two perks. All right, it's a very close game. We're tied at 50. We'll see what, we'll see what our opponents can do up next. We're back in a moment. We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. You have fun. Hey, yeah. Remind me about that party again. And adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. Welcome back, everyone. So it is a very close game. We are literally tied at 50 going into our third round of action and Liv you're gonna start us off with this next question who owns companies such as Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm? Is it Disney? It is indeed Disney and you get another choice on the grid they're winding down but still plenty what will you pick? Can I please have number 17? Number 17 please multiple choice which means your next question you'll get some choices you can work with be very beneficial let's move to connor for our second question of this third round before tom brady became quarterback for the tampa bay buccaneers what team did he have a very successful career with the new england patriots the new england patriots is good and let's see what you got on the grid and you actually get two options. So let's see what you will get. Can I please have number eight? Number eight, please. The teacher's pet, 20 extra points go to you.
but you get another choice on the grid. What second choice will you get? Can I please have number seven? Number seven, please. A hangover. The grid choice, your next grid choice, I will be picking for you. All right, live third question of this third round. What song so far has spent the most weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100? Can I use my multiple choice perk, please? Oh, yes. Your choices are A, Old Town Road by Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus, B, Despacito by Luis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, and Justin Bieber, C, Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, or D, One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey and Boys to Men. I am going to say A, Old Town Road, please. And you would be correct. It is Old Town Road by Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus. And what will the grid do for you? It's winding down. Can we please go with number 25? Number 25, please. Socialism, everyone points is even. This can be huge. As we enter in to our last question of this third round, Connor, it's for you. Who is Nintendo's mascot? Mario. You got it right in the nick of time. It is Mario. And another grid choice for you, which I am in control of. Let's see. Let's give him number 12, please. Ooh, copycat, which means that if Liv answers a question, it will affect Connor's score. You can see the points below. Our first question of this fourth round, and here it is, Liv. What building houses the art, music, and theater departments here at WestCon? It is the VPAC. The VPAC, the Visual Performing Arts Center, is correct. And what will you get off the grid? Peter, can I please go with number 11? We'll give her number 11, which is extra credit, which means you'll get this next question. What is the quadratic formula? A squared plus B squared. No. Oh, you ran out of time. It was very complex. All right, Connor, over to you. Third question of this fourth round. What element is HE on the Peterotic table? I think that's helium. You got it. It is helium. And what will the grid choose for you? Can I please have number 10? Number 10 is love interest. You, you get a little bit of time kicking off for the next question. And now we're going to live for our last question of this fourth round. What field do the Boston Red Sox play at? Fenway Park. Fenway Park is the right answer. And what grid choice will you pick? It is really winding down. Can I please have number 23? Number 23, please. A casino, which means both contestants bet 20 points on this next question, and the winner takes it all. This is the last round, round number five. And here is the question. And it's Connor going first. What is the code that computers speak? Yeah, when, when it comes to the code question, it was very frustrating. I, because I knew the answer. I knew it was binary code. I knew that it was the ones and the zeros. And I just, I was blanking in the moment. And I really thought I would get it wrong. Luckily, I had that, that perk to save me. Can I skip this? OK. How many boroughs in New York City are there? There are five. There are five, and Connor gets all the points and another choice on the grid. Can I please choose number 21? Number 21, please. Oh, a power outage. The grid is offline, and you don't get to pick. 
if you get the next question right. And now to live for our second question of this final round, who is the creator of Minecraft? Oh geez, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, the answer was not. And now, Connor, second to last question of the night. Who was the, who was 2019's hottest man alive? Adam Levine? Nope, the answer was John Legend. And now, this is it, Liv, the last question of the night. You are down by 10 points. If you get this right, you will, you will do such to the results indeed. Here is your question. What are the names of the two libraries at Westcon? There is Ruth Haas. It was a toughie, but it was fair. I just didn't have that answer anywhere in my head. Uh, admittedly, I spend all my time on Midtown and I'm never over on that other campus. So I just, didn't know. Oh, you got one, but you did not get the other. The other was the Robert Young Library. And with that, let's take a look at the results. It will be Liv with 100 points, but it's Connor winning it all with 110. You know, I didn't know if I was going to win or not. Uh, Liv, definitely a respectable competitor, had me on the ropes, and uh, I'm just lucky I came out with the W. I think I'll recover somehow. Connor definitely put up a good fight and it was an honor to lose to him. So I wish him the best of luck in finals. What a close game this has been. And congrats to Connor. And Liv did a good job as well, putting up a fight. You'll see Connor in our finale in two weeks. But for now, that will do it for this edition of Gridlock. Thank you everyone for tuning in. And thank you to our contestants for enduring this tough fight. I'm sure they are lost for words right now. Tune in next time as two more contestants tackle the grid. Until then, this has been Peter Falcone. Stay smart and stay successful, Westcon.